I'm just going to show you my room here at uh, Caesar's Palace. It's a Palace Premium Studio Suite. So you basically have uh, two bathrooms. Uh, and I think I'm right in saying that this tower is the most recently remodeled tower of them all at Caesars. Now the interesting thing here is that you have basically a shower that connects with the bathroom next door. So uh, you know, you're, you and your significant other or casual acquaintance even, <laughs> if it suits your fancy, uh, can meet in the shower. So it's pretty cool actually. loads of hanging space here not very many hangers as always your safes in here and iron and ironing board etc and this is the main bath from here with quite a big tub and that's the other door into the shower shower's great had a shower this morning Great pressure. Housekeeping was super attentive this morning as well. Pretty much came as soon as I left the room earlier just to go by the pool for a little bit. Your regular mini bar in here. Bed is uh, super, super comfy. And then you've got a sitting area over there and a workstation and as you saw with my thumbnail yesterday this is my view <laughs> it's pretty good right the pool area here i really think is nice i really like it i literally just come back i had a pina colada massive pina colada in the bar at the back and then went in that main pool circular pool there And I think Suzanne and I are in one of those towers in August. We're in a different room type in August. But I do remember, I mean, you can just about see the fountains through the crack in between those two towers. And I do remember when I stayed in this tower in the early 2000s, obviously before those two towers were built, you could see the fountains from this side clearly. There was nothing standing in, it, <laughs> in your way. But no, I mean, I got this... Um, basically comped for five nights, all bar resort fees, but I'm hoping obviously to get the resort fees waived at the back end. I'll let you know if I'm successful with that. I was when I stayed at Flamingo in January, and we did have a pretty good gamble last night, so if that carries on for the next five days, I'm sure they will, but we will see. But no, not too shabby, huh? Danny's trying Marmite for the first time, people. This, this is only going to go one way. Go, this is so funny. I love Marmite, by the way, but... Uh, right, here we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's hard. It, it, it's, it's thick and it's... Yeah. you got to get your tongue right in there, Danny. I don't, I don't know how aggressive I can be, right? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Absolute horseshit, man. <laughs> oh my god. That's so terrible. <laughs> Why would you do that to yourself? <laughs> huh? so, so, so can I can I assume from that you don't like it? I hate it. <laughs> it's terrible. Oh just drink the Peroni, it'll it'll take the taste I away. Don't have to. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Well thanks for trying it anyway, Danny. <laughs> So we're at uh, Vanderpump Cocktail Garden. Now this is somewhere that, frankly, I would never ever really choose to go in, but uh, Danny's got uh, a diamond credit and we're gonna use it in here. So 
Actually, it looks quite impressive in there. I don't even really know who Vanderpump is, if I'm honest, but um, hey ho. But we're going to try it out anyway before the Morrissey gig. Okay, so I'm uh, trying a nut job cocktail in uh, Vanderpump, and Danny's just explained to me who Vanderpump is, so I am now aware of who she is. Um, so, this is called a nut job, it's basically a coconut mojito. It's not a Budweiser or any other beer which I tend to drink, so let's see what it's like. I mean, I got Danny to try Marmite, as you've just seen, so this is my version of that, really. That is very, very nice. And very, very strong. So uh, I'll be hammered going into Morrison, so it's, uh, it's all good. And we're having some food in here as well, so, um, yeah, we're having a great evening. Yes. So I thought I'd uh, try this game, Prosperity Link. I was basically walking past this game, and it had all sorts of balls flying about. Um, on the demo of it, so I thought I'd give it a go. I and mean, you've even got balls in the pot, for God's sake. So I put 140 bucks that I had. I actually had won a little bit on uh, video poker, believe it or not, thanks to Danny helping me earlier. Got down to 87.18 at 2.80 a bet, 10 cent denomination. Then we've got the free game, so here we go. Let's uh, make sure we get a hold and spin. Come on, here we go. 10 free spins, come on! It needs to throw things down from there. It can do. <laughs> well, I'm grateful I've got a bonus out of it, but it needs to do something. Oh, hang on. Wild, okay. Okay, it's not going bizarre. That's at $6.80, four of 10. You'd hope for a bit more. Okay, that's something. 29, okay. Come on, throw some down, throw some down. No. Yeah, pretty underwhelming so far. Okay. 49, okay, not a disaster. Two more to go. Final game. Come on, give us a holding spin. Come on, do it, do it. Ah. Uh. Okay, well, probably under average for 280 bet that, but uh, so it's very innocent, that girl. <laughs> but it wasn't a losing uh, attempt at a new game. That's something to be uh, thankful for, I guess.
So I'm with Danny and uh, we just seen Morrissey and Danny, how good was it? It was fantastic. I mean, absolutely fantastic. So much fun. Yeah, it was. And the, the band was tight, the band was loud. He sounded amazing, looked amazing. For 62, incredible. It was really upbeat as well. Just everything about it was superb. Uh, changed it up a bit from the previous uh, uh, couple of uh, gigs, I think. Um, but just an amazing, amazing gig. I can't wait for the next two. So if you do get a chance to go and see him Friday or Saturday, I would 100% recommend it. So uh, we're off to gamble now. Uh, so let's win some money. Yeah. So Danny and I are on uh, Rich Little Piggy's Mill Ticket. I actually like this game, I really do. Uh, and we've first uh, the free games and the jackpots for 11 free games plus the jackpot. I guess it's a bit like uh, the other one, the other pot where you get the jackpot version, but I don't know. I'm not that familiar with it, but I've played it a couple of times. Come on. Oh yes, I know, I remember now. You fill up those with the coins. So we need uh, two for the maxi, one for the minor. Come on, piggies. Actually, the mini's quite high at 2020 with the minor at 15. Oh, we got the minor, okay. We chose 150 bet because that had the biggest jackpot pig at the time. That's 1758, okay. This game is quite popular these days in Vegas, you see it everywhere. Right now, come on, do it. That's good, right? Okay, we won the mini. That's 2020. So I so say we put 100 each in here. So we were. Wondering whether it was going to be a losing session, but this has rescued us a bit. Final game. Okay, well that's you know for a, yeah for a 150 bet, not that bad. Okay, we took that money and went on Miss Kitty Gold. I do like this game. I really do. Uh, you need the, obviously the three, or they moves or something. Anyway, on the first three reels, so we're doing 180 bet here. Got down to 68.45, here we go. Now this basically gets better the longer it goes, fundamentally. Come on, more cats, more cats. Okay, that's not too bad. We could do with a re-trigger. Okay, we've well, got some times twos, that's good. Come on, more, more, more. Need some in the middle here. Middle yeah. Five left. Okay. Now we really do need some in the middle reel now. <laughs> We've still got time. Yeah, okay, that, that makes it better. Oh, times three and times. Okay. Right, here we go. Well, that looks good. Phenomenal win. How much is, is a phenomenal win? 97, 98. That is a phenomenal win, actually, on a 180 bet. Amazing win. It's not going to be quite as good, but. 154, we'll take that. That's a, that's, is that good? Yeah? Sensational win! How much is this then? Oh yes! 212! We are back! Awesome stuff! That's a pretty damn good bonus of 180, it really is. Cheers Miss Kitty! Good morning everyone, bright and early on Thursday. Uh, and uh, it's 8.30 a.m. And the reason for that is because at 2.30 this morning, um, this creaky, aging old body couldn't cope with four hours sleep in two days any longer and had to admit defeat and went to bed. Uh, 
I lost 200, we each lost 200 on doubling up with uh, Danny. I then lost 200 of my own money in double quick time. I didn't really feel that I was finished with the gambling, if I'm honest, but I got to, as I said, two something and I just had to go to bed. I was shattered. So I thought, you know what, rather than, I wanted to carry on, but rather than almost do it for the sake of it, I thought, right, let's go to bed now, get up early, and we'll have uh, the sort of planned extended solo session tomorrow morning instead. And I fancied changing locations anyway, and I wanted to come to Bally's. So that's pretty much what's happened. Uh, as I said, 8.30 a.m., and we're on our way to Bally's with 500 bucks. Uh, I'm going to grab a coffee, so you can either call this the first official Starbucks run or a belated uh, extended solo session from last night, whichever. Uh, last night was absolutely superb, uh, Morrissey was on top form, and I ended up sitting next to, uh, this won't mean anything to US friends, but I ended up sitting next to Steph McGowan, who uh, British viewers will know from BBC Breakfast, she used to do the uh, business news on that, and she deflected to Channel 4 and now hosts her own show. What a lovely lady she was. Uh, and uh, there's a Morrissey song where the line goes, I'm dreaming of a time when the English are sick to death of Labour and the Tories. And she sang that line at the, the top of her voice uh, with both fing uh, middle fingers in the air. And it was a joy to behold, quite frankly. <laughs> it really was. And uh, let's be honest, any uh, sane English person would pretty much agree with that sentiment, even though that line was written probably 20 years ago now. And actually, um, I appreciate Morrissey is not everyone's cup of tea, uh, and neither is Marmite. So actually, there is a theme running through this vlog. <laughs> Marmite, you either love it or you hate it. Those that love it really love it. Morrissey, you either love him or you hate him. But those of us that love him really love him. And you could see in the footage the number of stage invaders was... It was very funny, actually. It really was. It was like going back. I mean, you can imagine what it was like when I was, like, 20 or something. Uh, you know, everyone was, like, piling on. But everyone was that little bit uh, more refined and a lot older, obviously. But I'm very much looking forward to the next couple of shows. Anyway, into Bally's we go with my 500 bucks. Let's see if we can turn it into anything. Here we go. Okay, so we're starting off with some uh, real old-school action. Double, triple, diamond, deluxe with cheese. Long-standing viewers will remember this game. I've pretty much played it since I've been doing vlogs. <laughs> so we have the hazelnut latte, not Starbucks, but from the coffee shop in Bally's. Put the first 100 in down to 64, three bucks a press, got the bonus. With this bonus, you either get like 10 or 15, or you tend to do quite well. So anyway, here we go, roll the dice. Got five already. Okay, up to 20. All right, we need to avoid a five. No, actually, no, no, okay, a, th a three, sorry for the question mark. Five is actually what you want. <laughs> it's a while since I played this. Okay, not a two. That's okay. Okay, a, a one would be ideal because it gets you up to the next level, but definitely not a three. Come on. Okay, that's decent. Not a one though, please. Up to 50 bucks, come on. Not a one, not a one, not a one. Oh, no way. Ah, I thought if we could get past that, we were on a clean run there. But, you know, the Heidi of her, of her day, she's not dead and buried just yet. <laughs> there goes everyone, Buffalo Link. It's not going too well. I'm down 200. Uh, literally couldn't hit a thing after the $50 bonus you just saw. Uh, so this is my third hundred and down to 52.08 and a $2 bet chasing the maxed out major up there. Here we go. Come on, keep me in it. Something other than twos, please. Unless you fill it up. <laughs> than twos, please, come on. <laughs> well, 
Well, we're going to focus on the grand jackpot now of 11,698. Wow, okay. There we go, that's what we're playing for, people. One day it will happen to me, one day. Maybe today. There we go. Come on, just one time, do it. Just do it. Come on. Okay. Well, at least there's a, a number of them, I suppose. Okay, 42 bucks on a two dollar bet. Yeah, it's all right. Okay, so basically, I'm mean, actually at yeah, where we're at, at this moment. Uh, with the 400 I lost uh, yesterday evening, plus the 200 so far, I've lost the 600 I won on day one. So we're basically starting all bar six bucks, level pegging. So uh, we crack on. Okay, so we were losing uh, down to six dollars and 85 from that hundred, and then got four coins at two bucks a spin again. So let's hope it does something. That's 20 just for that, okay. Okay, that's a retrigger, excellent. Right, come on, let's do something here. So that's 20 games we've got, come on. And another one, excellent, right. Come on, 25 games and another retrigger, right. <laughs> let's just bank these retriggers. And another retrigger. Wow. Okay. Wow. This is that's amazing. I haven't had this many retriggers in a long, long time. We've got to turn it into cash now. But I'm getting a little bit excited. I think we get a hold and spin during this, surely. Surely, surely. So 26, 20. Come on. Oh, almost another one. But this game, I don't know, sometimes it flatters to deceive, it really does. Like this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You damn buffaloes. <laughs> Literally nothing. Now, do it. Yes. Right, okay, we're in. Superb. Right, here we go. So, just to remind you, we're going for this uh, major thousand there, if possible. Minor up, 100, mini at 20. Here we go. Come on, keep it going, keep the dream alive. Final spin. Yes, okay, a mini at 20, that's nice. Oh, a 40, superb, right, this is good now. Come on, buffaloes. Final spin, come on. Yes, yes. Yes, keep it going. Wow, again. There you go. You don't normally get to the final uh, space twice, do you? Dare I dream? Here we go. One, di one time in my life, come on. <laughs> on. Anyway, that is very good. And that is 14 games of 35 games. So we still have plenty of time. Not bad at all. Excellent. 
Very nice, okay. So that puts it on 157. On we go. Can we get another hold and spin? That is the question. Or is it just gonna dead spin me for the next uh, God knows how many? We do it topping up the three games now. Come on, give me that coin. No. 15 left. Ugh. It's so frustrating when it doesn't come in. Yeah, it's just going to dead spin me, I'm sure of it. I mean, I can't complain at 157, but with that many games, you, you hope for more, don't you? Oh. Right, okay, excellent. Start uh, racking these up again, please. Come on, man. One more time, just do it. Okay, a, uh, where's the buffalo there? Huh? That's 18 bucks though, all helps. 175.58. Yes, yes. Wow, we're not finished yet, we're not finished yet. Eight more free games, superb. 187.58. Well, I've certainly never had this number of free games before, that's for sure, but... Right, come and do it. Yeah. Running out of time again. Go on. Can we reach 200? Dear me. <laughs> oh, it, it's, I tell you, it's that this game is quite frustrating. I mean, I can't complain at 188 from a two dollar bet, but with all those free games, almost 50, um, I'm still not up, but that uh, scrapes a little bit back. So I'm heading back to Caesars now after losing 100 in Bally's. I can't get enough of this view of this, these fountains and everything here. I just love, I think it's so iconic. Um, I think I probably sh shared it either in the dark or daytime three or four times in these first two vlogs, but anyway. And actually I was quite surprised at Bally's uh, that there is a huge amount of construction going on in there, clearly in relation to the rebranding to Horseshoe, I would imagine, both outside and inside, to the point where I was going to do a walkthrough of it uh, this trip just so I could sort of capture it before it all changed. But to be honest, unless you want to look at tarpaulin, it's really not worth doing, which is a shame. So yeah, it's probably not worth going in there until they've finished. It's uh, a lot of drilling going on and uh, not the same experience for sure. So I'm going back to the room because I want to give Suzanne a quick call then. I'm relocating down to Park MGM for a night tonight. So we will be switching up from Caesars Rewards to MGM Rewards. I've got 175 free play and 300 resort credit. So we'll see what we can do. I mean, I'm gonna to struggle to spend 300 resort credit in one day, but we will try. So even after, you know, it'd be as if I have to buy a beer, it'd be going on the room tonight, that's for sure. But I'll try and have a decent meal today and then one tomorrow before I check out to try and make the most of this 300. So join me tomorrow for a bit of MGM action. Hope you enjoyed this vlog, there's quite a lot of variety in it. Uh, I certainly had a great day yesterday and uh, look forward to more of the same today. So I will speak to you again this time tomorrow. Take care guys.